Hi. Hello. How are you doing today? Uh, good. Good? That's great. I'm happy to hear it. Hello. Hi, I'm back. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? Good. That's good. Ready to do some no, coding so today? <laughs> today, basic day? No, like, like really. really no, it's tomorrow. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what I recognized? What? So, I didn't know what nested for loop was. Yes. But then I was doing it all the time. <laughs> I was doing it all the time and I didn't know what was nested for loop was. Oh, yeah? I'm going to mute everybody so that we can all hear no echo, but feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, I set up a little demonstration again, as I'm prone to do. I hope that our new friend from yesterday comes back because we can actually do some lessons today. <laughs> I set up this, uh, what's up? Can we do quizzes? Oh, we can do a quiz at the end. I want to make sure we're doing some actual coding. No! No, actually learning things. Oh, can no. Can we answer questions from projects? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I want to do that first for a little bit. Yeah, I, I need help with my um, king piece. Your king piece? Who oh. else has questions? It's my, it's in Python. Okay, in Python. Quiz day was today. Uh, I don't remember I if I confirmed that. My back the scrolling background. I oh, yeah, I told you we would do that and we didn't do it. This is Geetha, right? Yeah. Uh, I want to make sure everybody's in before I get into like talking about more complicated things. Scrolling background. Let's see. Where is my beautiful picture? Oh, wow. What, uh, you want to, what seems to be the problem? With one of the challenges, reverse the background. Reverse it, Yay. okay. So we've got image X, image Y, image, I just got to understand this code. Scroll speed two, I'm assuming if you increase that, it'll speed faster. Uh, we're going to draw an image. Let me see. If I can do, I'll draw the second image at position negative 400. <laughs> okay. And I will say image plus equals scroll speed. And then, so it, it, it's all fine and dandy until it wants us to reset the position. At uh, which point I think I would say if image X is greater than or equal to 400, put it back at zero. Let's see if that works. Oh wow, look, it works. Here's your solution. So I'm gonna undo it all. Yeah, literally just wherever it says positive, you make it negative. Like image X negative 400 instead of positive 400. Um, image X plus equals scroll speed instead of minus equals scroll speed. And then reverse this comparison. It should be greater than or equal to 400 instead of less than or equal to negative 400. Okay. And then it'll work. Anybody else? I know Gotham, you have your king piece you want to work on. Um, What's up? Uh, Anybody else have any problems they want to work on? All right. Bullseye. <laughs> you want to work on bullseye? No. I Sorry, what? Didn't you chose the right one. Oh. <laughs> uh, great, it's king piece and chest. Okay. So is the problem that they're not moving? Yeah. Okay. E code LF. Oh my goodness. Go away, console. Key pressed E, global. Wait, how, did, wait I, how did you do that? How do we do that? Yeah, Get rid of the console? Yeah. Uh, I clicked this button right here. Oh, okay. I didn't even know and you could do that. I just figured it out. It's very annoying. Then yeah. But it can help with debugging sometimes. Yeah. When, when, it's, when I was, and it's not coming, I put the console on. It's not. Key code. Wait, there's only two equal sides. I think that's okay. Yeah. I think that's what it does in, yeah, in Python. In yeah, Python, it's two. In Python. Yeah. I was shocked to find out in JavaScript they did three. Because, like, like, usually it's two. 
It's two in basically every other language that I use. Uh, let's look up py processing Python key codes. Um, key code. Okay, so it should actually be. Wait, this is JS. Ugh. No, I wanted Python. Excuse you. This example is broken. Oh, lovely. I'm so excited that the example is broken. Let's take out the brackets. <laughs> nope. That didn't work. And if key goes left, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna take them out of all of them, just 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 for kicks. Key code is up. Well, it did say the example was broken, so. The variable key code is used to detect special keys. When checking for keys, see if the key is coded. If, oh, we need to check if key is coded. So we're gonna tab this in. If key equals coded, semicolon, or no, regular colon. If key, okay. If key is coded, do we need brackets? Maybe I do need brackets. Oh, tricky. Am I messing this up for everybody? Maybe. I'm learning along with you guys. I have no idea what's wrong with this, but we're just gonna play with it. Okay, well, still not moving, but uh, <laughs> apparently that's part of it. But E is coded. We'll have to key code down. Key code down? What did happen to key code down? Where is X? It's there. It's there. Oh, oh it had to scroll down. Okay, never mind. Key code, if key code equals left, huh? If key equals coded, this example is broken. Why is it broken? This is one of the conditional keys. Do not require checking to see if the key is coded, and you should simply use the key variable instead of key code. Apparently, we don't need this. I was duped. Uh, let's see if this will, okay, it's not gonna work. We have to untab everything. Ah. I was hoodwinked by their language. Okay, what? Specification, do not require checking. You should simply use the key variable instead of key code. Note the enter key is commonly used. So yeah, what it, it wants, global fill val, key equals coded, key code equals up. No, it just wants us to say if key equals up. Uh, I don't understand why it doesn't, it's not happy. Yeah, well, okay, now let's try taking off the brackets, but it likes brackets, right? No, yes, no, I'm so confused. This is my last attempt, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I will get back to you later because I can't figure this one out. Ed Sheeran is here. Wow. That's amazing that Ed Sheeran would choose to come to our class. So yeah, Gotham, I will <laughs> look into this because I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I tried a bunch of things. None of them worked. Uh, let me just, let me... <laughs> Just no, it's not happy. I don't I'll put know. Else, if in it, should, should, should put if. Did they put else in? No. Else fell about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Somebody else. <laughs> so I'll look at it in the off time, so you're not all standing here watching me staring at something, not knowing what to do. Uh, anybody else have any questions? Yes. No. You have our new friend from yesterday. That would be exciting. No? Okay. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to see what I have cooked up for today? Too bad. <laughs> You're here. Oh, look. Lovely. Look. Uh, what's up, MJ? What did you cook? What did I cook? Yeah. I cooked. Um, can you um, show how to make um, the Minimalist Trio? Minimalist Trio. Sure, we can go over that project. Uh, what I cooked was a way to expo to dig in the dirt. Have, has any of you, have any of you tried Minecraft Dig? Yeah. 
You tried the challenge where you draw something hidden in the dirt and you have to reveal it? Yeah. How, how scale of one to ten, how easy hard is it? Well, one to Super, 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 duper, duper easy. Really easy? Yeah, you yeah. Have just have a picture. You just put in a picture. Well, if we look, if we just do it the default way, all you're doing is putting a picture uh, a under, pic underneath it. Well, in a random just, position. Yeah. Uh, let me show you how the default project works. Default project. I am going to break it down because I don't really care about how it works. We will do minimalist trio. I haven't forgotten about you. Do I know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Because uh, it's, it's a drawing project, so it should be relatively straightforward. Uh, okay, so this is the base code. If I try to add a... Uh, let, let me add the health potion like I did, or maybe I'll just add Winston because I remember how to spell Winston. <laughs> image, uh, get image, creatures, Winston. This is how you make an image. You need X location, Y location, size. All right, so now that I have Winston. Charlie D'Amelio is here. Are you worried about TikTok getting taken down? I'm very surprised that Charlie D'Amelio can't spell TikTok. You'd think that she would know how to spell it properly. Oh, she can? You know, <laughs> well, the person in the chat who's pretending to be Charlie D'Amelio said, like, Tic Tac, but, like, Tic Tac. No, they said Tic Tac. I know, but, like, T-I-C, T-O-K, that's not how you spell it. Anyway, I should be able to see Winston right now, eh? Because I put Winston in. No, you're just supposed to put it. Okay, never mind. Oh, no. Tell me, what, am I, what did I do wrong? Did I supposed to put it on top? Yeah. That's well, not yeah. very hidden, is it? Am I revealing Winston here? <laughs> How do I make it so that he's underneath the dirt and then when I click it gets rid of the dirt and you can see him? Um, put not it to under do it. the dirt, put it under the dirt. Okay. And no, under the dirt only. Well, this is the dirt only. Oh, not, not like not under the grass, just under the dirt. Okay. So. Yeehaw. Hello. So that's, uh, so I guess it would go here. Well, he's no, just I visible. Meant, no, oh. I meant put the grass on top of the dirt. Put the grass on top of the dirt. Well, this is the grass. Yeah. So you want me to put it yeah. like this here and then yeah, and put this it under the grass. Yeah. Here. Okay. I don't think that's good. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But if you remember, I did get it to work with something else. It took me a long time. <laughs> I, I think you should draw the blocks with a for loop, like small for loop. Yes, I agree. So let's draw these blocks. Uh, I'm going to move Winston out of the way. Bye, Winston. Nice to see you. You're gone now. Uh, <laughs> so say for var i equals, what should I start at? Maybe I'll start it at 100 so that we leave some sky open. I'm going to mute everybody. Uh, so if i is going to start at 100, which is going to be like our, our y, so it'll be like, I'll leave this strip of sky open. We'll go um, i is less than 400, i plus equals pixel size. So it draws one rectangle for every pixel size. So, so say rect, uh, we're going to need a second for loop to go down as well. For r j equals zero, because this is going left to right. We want it to go all the way left to right. J, j is less than 400. J plus equals pixel size. What? Uh, oh, and then I'm going to go rect. I'll make the fill. Uh, I'm just going to make you blue for now. Somebody want to give me a good brown color? Yeah. 
Once you've got it, let me know. I have it already. All right, what's your brown? Um, <laughs> do you want like a light one? Doesn't matter, whatever you want to give me, because mine is going to be blue. <laughs> oh, okay. So 105, 57, 35. 35. All right, so now we're going to make pixel size. So what I've done. Can I also give you a grade? Sure. Oh, no, I messed this up. All right, well, there we go. Let's give me a green. 100, 199, 20. Sweet. So I'll say, um, if i is greater than uh, 150, the fill is going to be this nice green color. Otherwise, is this color. Oh. I've put them backwards. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we built the landscape yeah. out of a for loop. That's a nice screen. And I love it. I dig it. Ha! Lucas is your little brother. Uh, nice to meet your little brother. Okay, cool. So now that we've made grass out of for loops, how do we get it so that Winston is hiding behind them? Um, so here. Before the for loop. All right, where's Winston? Let me make the pixel size really big. There's no Winston. Do you want to know why there's no Winston? It's because we're not getting rid of the squares. We're adding more blue squares on top. We're not undoing the brown. We're just putting another blue one on top. And if you don't believe me, which I don't think you don't believe me. I, I, I trust that you believe me, but to prove it, let's call draw background and the draw function. It just puts them back on top. I draw a blue and then it, it covers it back up with the square. Yeah, that's what happened when I was trying to do this challenge. Yes, so the question becomes, how do we make it? So I'm gonna Talk leave to you, you to chew on that question while I do minimalist trio. No, you're going to leave us hanging. Yes, I'm going to leave you hanging. You got to get to think about it. You get to strategize because I do have the answer. Here's a quick look at the answer. <laughs> I know that it's hard to read because you guys show me your projects and then I go, what? I took a screenshot. Yeah, go for it. Uh, minimalist trio. This is like a commercial break where they're like, who will win on do you who wants to be a millionaire did he get the question right dun, 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 dun. come back after this commercial break to say if he lost <laughs> anyway harry ron and hermione you're only using basic shapes uh i'm too lazy to do that <laughs> english description so let's just see okay var draw main that accepts a parameter x oh this is Freaky. Oh, you forgot your equals function. That's correct. I did. <laughs> draw, if I draw main equals function, why is there an x here? What is that doing there? Who knows? It's like, it's a pras parameter. Like yes, what does that mean? That's a bunch of syllables. <laughs> oh, sorry, can you repeat that? Kind of like how you explained the pizza order. Did I explain a pizza order with past parameters? Oh, I did. Yeah, <laughs> if you just want like a normal cheese pizza, you're just gonna have the bar drop cheese, like cheese. But if yeah, you like special instructions, added, like non lactose. Send cheese. your cutest delivery boy. That's the one I see a lot. Like lactose free <laughs> cheese, then you're gonna pass it. You're gonna like give specific yeah, instructions. some directions. In this case, the variable's like, okay, computer, I want you to draw this at a specific place. And the computer says, okay, Brenda, what place? And I say, I'll tell you later. I want you to draw it at position, let's call it X. Wherever I tell you to draw it, put it there. X, I'll tell you later. And then when I, it knows, okay, when I call, when she calls it, then uh, then she'll tell me where the place is. And then if I don't, it gets mad at me. So you said you'd tell me what the place was. <laughs> okay, var draw Harry equals function. The only reason we're putting these in functions is to make Wait, them more organized. What's Harry? Uh, Harry Potter. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, stroke, draw main. And so this is where I have to tell it. If I just call it, it's gonna go, hey, Brenda, you told me that you were gonna give me a position to put, draw Harry at. So I said, oh, you're right. I have to tell you it's 100. Secret's over. It's like how I'm keeping you on, on edge to find out how we're gonna make the draw thing. <laughs> See Winston underneath the dirt. Stroke I, is. Uh, I figured it out. You figured it out. How do you do it? Well, I'm just guessing. I don't know if it's true. Well, I'd like to hear your guess. Also, because I'm not doing anything more interesting than typing. Okay. Um. So I have a question. What's up? Like, is Minimal's trio like a Harry Potter thing? Yes, it's Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Oh, okay. Harry, Hermione, and Ron. I guess. And you can uh, you can make Black Hermione if you want. That's a big fan theory because it's your project. Uh, people have a theory that Hermione's black because they never specify what her skin color is, just that she has curly hair. I didn't. I actually never read Harry Potter, so I can't comment. But you could you get you could make them green if you want. You can make them like from the musical Wicked. <laughs> uh, where am I? Line from point. I haven't watched Wicked either. I just know it exists. I like the song. Songs are great. I just, I've never actually seen it, but I do know the plot. All the ways to be. Yes. Arc 100, 192. So, what was your theory about how to do the digging in the dirt and get West Winston? I was doing an angle. I forgot an angle. In 360. I want to see how this looks. Oh, I have to wait. Triangle at position 63, 192, 80, 192, again, 68, 205. Try, try and gal. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't roast me for that one. All right, there he is. There's our dude. We're too nice. Hmm? We're too nice. You're too, to roast me? No, you're not. You guys are brutal. <laughs> what did you guys mean when you asked me how many messages I had on Zoom? Like right above chat, like I think this is what they meant. I, I didn't know. Because I can't see how many, like what number of chats have been sent. It'll tell me how many I haven't read yet. Like right now I haven't read two. Same here. But that doesn't tell me how many there are in total. So I was like, what do you mean? And you guys were like, the Zoom chats. And I was like, no. No, I think they thought you weren't reading any messages. I'm reading them. That's why I say weird stuff. Like, hi, Charlie D'Amelio. Like, I don't actually think she's here. She's not in my house, unfortunately. Well, I guess I don't know her that. Like, I don't know her at all. I don't really care. If she, if she is in my house, that would be a bad thing. She broke in. Uh, I don't even know if she's a nice person to hang out with, so I, I guess I don't want Charlie D'Amelio in my house. Kind of an invasion of privacy. Uh, right now I'm just drawing ellipses. This is Hermione's hair. This is why I haven't done this project yet, because it's real annoying. Can't you do it with a for loop? Ah, uh, yes, I suppose I could. Um... Because, so I could do these three on each side. I could make two separate for loops to do these three. I feel like it's not worth the effort. Especially when then I'd have to go out of my way to think about it and design it myself. Whereas if I just copy down what they say, I don't have to actually do any mental work. Not cool. You guys don't have to think I'm cool. My self-esteem isn't that fragile. Question mark. You guys don't have to think I'm cool. If you're like, not cool, you didn't do it right. I'm like, well, I don't care if you think I'm cool. So I'm just gonna keep being lazy. <laughs> uh, draw Hermione. Draw Hermione. Apparently a lot of people were pronouncing it Hermy one. And so JK Rowling wrote in a scene where she explains how to pronounce her name. <laughs> Uh, R draw Ron equals function. Are you guys having fun yet? We're just typing a whole bunch of shapes. Draw main. Sorry? 
Yeah, that's it from my end. Uh, is there any other point? It's sad. Yes, yeah, same. It was too, what's my floor number? <laughs> He's banning TikTok. Uh, okay, whatever. India okay, already banned five. TikTok. Yeah, be, yeah. Yeah, I knew that. You're I don't know how I knew that, but. Because it's a Chinese app. But it's fine. Yeah. I have a friend who's convinced that they're spying on us through it, and I'm just like, first of all, if they want to see me lying on my bed for five hours while I watch TikToks, like, <laughs> what are they going to do with that information? Be like, huh, the Canadians are very lazy. No, they want it. They want it. That's why, like, oh, that's why Trump's also banning it, and that's why Microsoft is buying TikTok. Amazon yeah. employees are banning TikTok. I don't know why we're rotating things. I guess we're making rectangles, ellipses. Okay, we're making sideways Hi, ellipses. Be a pool, baby. You can call me Olivia. Hi, Olivia. What's up? Okay. Then five. Uh, and I got. Sorry. You play Minecraft. I do play Minecraft. Oh. You still? The balls. Yeah. Stuff. Wow. And story she has told us. Yeah, I told you about my Minecraft divorce. <laughs> Were you not there for that? <laughs> Why? Because my ex and I had a server together, and then we, uh, I like peaceful survival, because I'm, because I'm a wuss. Uh, we had a Minecraft server together, and we put so much time in it, and then we broke up, but then we still didn't want to get rid of all of our work, so he moved out of our house. He, like, took his stuff and left, and he got custody of the cats. It was hilarious. I, I thought it was hilarious. Can you show our, the the server? No, because he shut it down. It was on his computer. I was so mad at him when he did that. Excuse me. What's up? Uh, did you know yesterday I decided to build a house using one of every block in Minecraft? How would I have known that? I wasn't stalking you. No, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. <laughs> and that's why I want to see you. <laughs> How does it look? I, I'm going to move you under. Hmm? You, you you did what? I'm from the movie Wonder. Oh, you're from the movie Wonder. Oh, that's pretty cool. What? Who, Augie? <laughs> so, no, anybody have a theory? Bad. How we're going to make this uh, so that you have a Winston underneath? Well, let's find out. To do that, I'm going to go back to my scratch pad. What we got to do is make it so that Instead of drawing a blue thing on top, when you click on it, it stops being drawn at all. So I have this little handy dandy demonstration that we'll get to in a second. Um, I have a question. What's up? What are, like... <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Someone want to explain what we're doing? Someone we're... said it's a disgusting egg. A disgusting egg. Looks okay. It looks like a disgusting egg. What looks like a disgusting egg? My face. I'm sorry, you feel that way. <laughs> okay. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Why are you guys are laughing about it? I don't know. It just struck me funny. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, yeah, we, yeah, we, everybody. Okay, do you guys remember doing this yesterday? I was all mad because I was tired, uh, and everyone was asking me about the Zoom comments. Okay. No, I, I don't. I don't think we did that yesterday. We yeah. definitely did this yesterday. We in like three minutes. Did. We did. Yeah, yes. We did. Remember <laughs> when everyone was spamming in the chat? What is the floor? Like guessing what the floor number of your mm -hmm. is. And I was like, I need to tell you how to draw pig. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then everybody was like, well, this one person had annotation access. And oh, was yeah, like, and everyone was drawing on the screen, and I was losing my mind. Yeah, so that was that. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's, let's not do that again. <laughs> so what I've got is a image with the load image. This is how you get it from the internet. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's just worry about the fact that sometimes the pig is there and sometimes it's not. Whoa! Because what we have to do uh, is make it so there's a whole bunch of little like squares and then when you click on them they disappear. But like only that one disappears. Not like the rest of the dirt. You know? Because we could totally do that where we have like 
Uh, I'm going to open this up with a new project. <laughs> open like, a new tab. Minecraft dig. I made a tutorial on the Minecraft dig. You did? Yeah, I haven't posted it, but it will be posted theoretically. I just recorded it this morning. And that's how I, you know, that's why I took the time to actually do this. What I, we could do is say, uh, shoot, bar draw dirt equals function. Uh, and then we'll just take this whole for loop and put it in draw dirt. And then we can say, uh, if we could say like, if not mouse is pressed, then draw dirt so that like, oh, it's not even working. <laughs> draw background. Yeah, so we could do that. We can make it so that when you click, it doesn't draw this. If mouse isn't pressed, just draw the dirt. Hi. So there's that, but that's not quite what I showed you at the beginning where uh, you were able to actually undo the dirt and have some of it still be there. But this is the basic premise where you get uh, a thing and just tell it sometimes you draw, sometimes you don't and put it on the draw function. So to change whether or not something is actually on the screen, you'll need a Boolean variable. In this case, the Boolean variable is mouse is pressed. And that updates automatically. It like, you know how mouse clicked gets called when you click the mouse? It, it mouse is pressed is a Boolean variable that gets changed when you press or release yeah. the mouse. Uh, Boolean, in case anybody doesn't know, it's just a normal variable, except instead of being like equal to a number, it's equal to the word true or the word false. I'm gonna change it back to 30. Who so right here, we've got pick on. I guess we could change it to pig on, huh? Uh, pick on, pig? sorry, what's up? What does pig on mean? Well, there's just, there's a pig on the screen. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> So this could be anything. This could be noodles. This could be uh, rainbow. This could be X. This could be whatever. Pick on equals false. And then if we click, it changes. And if, if, and only if it's true, you draw the pig. If I click and suddenly it's not true, it stops drawing the pig. It just draws a background. Uh, so that's how you change. But what we want to do is basically make there be tiles of pigs all over the screen and then when you click one it goes away but the rest of them stay there yeah so this gets into uh this whole grid majig uh, draw size demo and then we can take the pig and put it back in the notes all right so the first thing to know is how how do we tell the computer which Who's clicking? Oh no. I'll mute everybody so you can keep clicking to your heart's content. Uh, <laughs> so we gotta figure out. I'm clicking because I'm coding. You're clicking because you're coding. Well, that's that's a good thing to be doing. Um, so basically we could say like the all of these squares are bits of dirt that we want to click and it goes away instead of having the whole thing go away just have one of these squares go away okay, um me. what's up can we have a quiz running while we do this sure why not like the quiz that uh has you the want the floor quiz what your floor, what your floor Isn't today is supposed to be quiz day uh maybe it's not anymore more will be quiz day. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, do you guys want to do the floor quiz, or do you want to do one with like more interesting questions? Floor quiz. Floor quiz. Floor quiz. Only because I love guessing things. <laughs> okay, so here's here's the hints that I've given you so far. Is that what the is that? maximum? Hmm? Put in the chat. Yes, I will. The maximum floor is number 56. I do not live on floor one or 56. Um, I do not live on floor 13 because there is no floor 13. And I believe I also told you that there was no floor 14. Oh, no, you didn't. I definitely did. 
You just didn't yeah. hear me. Yeah, she did. Oh, I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> if you said that yesterday. It's okay. It doesn't matter because now you know. And the other rule is I will not be answering it if you ask in the chat, only if you ask in the quiz. I think I know it now. Oh, good for you. I think um, I know it too. <laughs> so back here, first part, we got to figure out how to tell if it's click. in a square or not. Because uh, if we have... Oh, 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 oh. Where, where am I? I have these ellipses. Hmm? Can, can you, like, once in a while do commentary? I don't think I'm going to be able to do that if I'm explaining the Minecraft grass thingy. Like, after you're going to explain it. We can review how people are, are doing, some, and I can some, one click time. over sometimes. You know what I'll do is I'll make um, multi-sharing possible, so that if somebody finishes, then they can share the results. Yeah, but they don't know everybody's right. They only know their personals. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind then. Anyway, who else wants to join? Is anybody trying to join? That's correct. I will not answer if it's in the chat. Oh, yeah, somebody asked why they're calling me Miss M. Uh, Miley calls her teachers that. I never asked to be called that, but I don't hate it either, so you can say whatever you want. That was Niles. That was Niles? No, yeah, well, yeah. I remember you always said, like, Mr. Oh, F and Ms. T. You can call me Brenda, that's okay, because that is my name. Uh, respect for me means like listening to what I tell you to do <laughs> and, and not being rude to me in the chat. So that, that's respect, it's not being a jerk, not using a specific name, but uh, you can call me Ms. M as well. I really don't care. As long as you don't call me like fart face or something. <laughs> Watch everybody gonna call me fart face now. Okay, I'm gonna start the quiz. You ready? <laughs> go, go, go. I will mute my sound. Don't worry about that. I am not giving this person a shout out because I can't say their name. Okay, first is question before giving them mind. So anyway, to get to figure out which which one we're turning on and off, I've got these. I'm the second place. Circles that light up. I'm the short by high with many of us. What the fridge? I need everybody. Uh, so, it, it, what this is doing is it's saying, it's basically correcting wherever I click to be the appropriate circle. And it does that by going, doing this code right here. Uh, floor, mouse, X, divided by grid size. Uh, so that's going to tell me what column or row it's in. So this is like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, it's like column 0 is down this way. Call the row one, row zero is across the top. So row zero, row one, row two, row three. So it's gonna tell what column and what row I'm clicking in based on this calculation here. It tries to find out what multiple of grid size I'm uh, I'm looking at, I'm nearest to. What multiple of grid size I'm inside of. So uh, with that calculation, it can tell me that I'm in column one, row one. So if only there was a way to store a bunch of Boolean variables, like true or false variables, to say like, uh, if I want to turn on and off uh, squares for these ones, maybe I can uh, put a, draw up a bunch of squares on these tiles. And if I click on one, their corresponding uh, Boolean variable is set to zero or set to false. Can you do that quick? Sure. I know you guys don't care about what I'm talking about. Hi is first. Uh, bing, bang, boom is last. Wait, what? Mm. Who's first? Hi. Hi is a Kirby. So what we could do is we could turn all these columns into arrays. You guys know what arrays are? Any, or sorry, does anybody not know what an array is? Because I know some of you know what arrays are. Anybody confused on an array? Just a list. Yeah, I like to use end curtains. Just to be like, this is array at position zero. This is array at position one, etc. They start at zero. That's the other important thing to know. That's why I labeled them like this. So what we could do is say uh, var column zero equals array. Var column 
1 equals array bar column 2 equals array bar column 3 equals array and then in all those arrays we could say at position 0 this is the first boolean variable second third fourth we could say like column at 0 column 0 at position 0 equals true tur <laughs> column zero at position one equals true. And then I could say if my mouse, if the column number, if I'm clicking on the column number and the row number I'm clicking on corresponds to these, I can switch it from true to false. Say like, oh, it's on, it's not on. Um, I'm just going to hop over to Minecraft Dig because I feel like it's not going to make any sense. I'm going to show you what's going on. Uh, I'm glad I have this. So this might come in handy. This floor is this is used in pixel divide or pic pixel minecraft pixel no not minecraft pixelated image drawing that's something yeah it uses this floor thing we've got hi is first started d'amelio a second uh, bing bang boom is still last uh aqua affinity tridents is eighth I just shouted out random names that look cool to me uh, so we go to minecraft I thought, I thought i was last uh, well, Bing Bang Boom is last. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately for them, but fortunately for you. So what we got to do, uh, last thing I forgot to talk about here is that we've got all these columns. You can say, okay, true, 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 true. So like column two could have like true, false, true, true. And maybe like if this one's false, then it would just be white and the other ones would be colored. It's 11. They just told us 11. Spot. Layla. Uh, so we can store all of these columns in one big one. Bar columns equals an array of column zero, column one, column two, column three. This is where you, this is a multi-dimensional array that you've got because it, they're all in one array, array called columns, but what is column zero? It is itself an array. So you've got first array, second array, third array, fourth array. It's just like these sets of boxes. And these play real nice with for loops, nested for loops. So you can, like what this is doing right here is drawing the column and row number for each, for each square. It starts at um, column zero and goes, okay, I'm gonna draw zero, zero. And then I'm gonna move down one, go zero, one, move down, move down. Then I'm going to repeat the outside loop. Now we got to do the second column, and then the third column, and the fourth column. So that's what I did over here. Uh, I made a multi-dimensional array full of Boolean variables, true and false variables, and uh, that lets it say whether or not it's supposed to be drawn or not, basically. Um, so there, you can see the draw background is in the draw function, which means it's looping a whole bunch of times. It's just uh, only drawing the ones that uh, have the have a corresponding value of true. Oh, a potion. Yes. So, like that's pretty confusing. I will post the tutorial of it. I got one hundred and I still came seven. Like my luck is not. Wait, could you wait? Could you yeah, I go? came in six and I came, I got one hundred too. So Mia, you just joined? Yeah. I was fifth and I got. Oh, wait for you, yeah. So oh, basically, yeah. Everyone above me probably got perfect too. We're all in the mastery yes. spot. We've got Hai got first place, then Charlie D'Amelio, then Layla, then <gasps> that's how I pronounce a bunch of exclamation points. Then play dot chasecraft dot gg, then oh, Andrew, right. then Leo, then who's fourth, and then Hi YouTube. And then Aqua Affinity Tridents, blub, blub, blub. And then the name I'm not chatting out because it's too complicated, Bing Bang Boom, and Mia still playing. So we can't really say. Mia's undefined. Uh, anyway, my point is we got to make a, not only do you have to draw the tiles with an array, but you have to store true or false values in an array corresponding to each tile so that when you click on them, it can be set to true or false. And then the program knows it's not supposed to draw it anymore. Hey. That's the answer. That's why it's complicated. So then when I was asking, like, do you think this is easy or hard? For me, it's hard. 
Excuse me, Miss McLaughlin. What's up? Like, you know, for Hatch, they have images and they have Minecraft images. Yes. They have a crafting table and a furnace, but why do you, why don't they have a chest? I don't know. I did not choose what images go in the library. That was not my choice. Um, if you wanted a chest, how would we get a chest? Let's go and search for a chest. Uh, you go Minecraft chest. Images. Uh, mm -hmm. The best one is, uh, wait, did I see one that was a bag? Like a mm -hmm. roll of eggs? Oh, we have standings. Hi is first, Charlie D'Amelio is second, Layla is third, exclamation points is four, play.chasecraft.gg is fifth, sixth is Andrew, seventh is Leo, eighth is Mia, but she's still climbing. Uh, with fourth is ninth, hi can YouTube you, is tenth. Can you start from sixth again? I don't care. Andrew is sixth, Mia is seventh, Leo is eighth. No. Which to fourth is ninth. Hi, YouTube is tenth. Aqua Affinity Tridents is eleventh. Blub 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 is twelfth. Uh, thirteenth, I can't pronounce, and fourteenth is Bing Bang Boo. Uh, you don't have to be super good to participate. We are happy everyone's here. I'm just gonna. Wow. Why? So, okay. Let's see. So, how do you join a quiz? I'll explain um, when we start the next one. Seven, I'm seven is place. It, is it quizzes? Oh, oh wait. Are you sure that's yeah. yeah. anyone yeah. 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 Whoa. Did I get into the Hall of Fame thingy? Let's see. Can you all see? Oh, I'm there, I'm there. <laughs> Mastery party. Mastery party. It's only because we've played this. Like, Yay! Wow, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. So what I'm gonna do for the next one is I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another quiz and I'll just add the floor question to that quiz. What okay, but can you see if anyone got the floor right? Yes, let's see. Uh, 39, nope. 23, nope. 22, nope. Hermitcraft, nope. 50, it's nope. 15. 28, nope. That person gets 15. Well, 15 okay. is also not right. 23 is not right, 33 is not right, 37, no, glug, not, no, uh, 65, no, 21, no, 54, no, 38, no. Did you at least say that I was so, odd? I felt so confident even about her odd. Even her odd is half no. the answers. So? That was that's overpowered. Question. Is the odd, is it odd or even, please? Just say odd. That's over. That's overpowered. I'll tell you that there are no. There's a. There's a fortieth floor, but there are no floors ending in forty in my build or ending in four in my building. So there's okay, no fourteen. Okay. There's no four. There's no twenty-four. Oh, there's no thirty-four. Because four is an unlucky number. Yes. So that's my clue. I don't have four floors. I, I will four. add the floor question one. to one of these other quizzes. Which one do you want? Besides July twenty-eighth. Welcome to Hatch. No, uh, bracket. No. Bracket A or bracket B? Can qualifier, can we, coding can we, tournament qualifier. Excuse me, can we do a Gotham's quiz? Gotham's quiz. Uh, so Gotham's quiz or Miley's quiz? Yeah, I'll do multi sharing. Wait, can we do one of theirs? Like... Um, I'm gonna keep going with the floor questions because I can actually put whether it's right or wrong. But anyone else who wants to start a quiz, feel free to do that. Uh, in so the can comments. We spin? Can we spin? So can we do five. what? Can we spin? Spin? Oh, spin. For which? Okay, what, how do you guys feel about that? I'm doing the Wheel of Names for somebody's quiz. You want to just do like an, uh, one of my library quizzes or do you want to take a chance on Niles Miley Gotham's quizzes? Anybody have any opinions? Uh, I like bracket B. I'm going to put floor quiz into bracket B. I have to do this secretly. Then, then we can do it in bracket. Then we can do bracket B. Multiple choice? Not multiple choice. No, that's too easy. <laughs> Poll. Open ended? Open ended. What? Wait, which one has the floor question? July 28th, but I'm adding it to bracket B. Fifth on. Uh, do 
will automatically get it right. Save. So, so this is an open ended question. All right, done. Can you always say if it's even or odd, please? No. You can ask as many times as you want, and it won't change my answer. Um, all right. If anybody else wants to start their quiz and do a different one, if like Gotham wants to start one of his quizzes, uh, more than welcome to do that and post the code in the chat. Uh, all right. Nope. Yes. The quiz the is one too that... hard for me. I'm going to lose. I'm going to get completely demolished. This is the one from when we did a tournament, and this was the people who didn't get in the top tip. So this is the easier one. Uh, to get oh, into... So can, can you remove me? I my fully pee. Yes. Wait, so you think I wouldn't actually get completely demolished? Uh, yes, that's what I think. <laughs> I think you'll do fine. Uh, so to get into this quiz, if you don't know how already, quiz is... This is why I use this one. This is my favorite. Join a game. It's spelled quiz, but with an IZ. Oh, I think always refreshes. Quizzes. Uh, and then if you go to join a game, you type in the code, and then you get to pick your name. And you can name yourself, hi, my name's Brenda McLaughlin, I'm a coach at Hatch Coding. Wait, King Coder is back. King Coder, whoa. Channel. Are you asking me about the YouTube channel or somebody else's channel? My YouTube channel is Hatch Coding. And the egg is the white egg. There's three Hatch Coding channels. And I don't have access to any of them except the one, because I made it. No, no, I was thinking, I was, I was, I have invested it for a year long. Oh, hold on, is there another no. quiz? Bullet, bullet. There is another quiz. What the like, you say that for a year? Is it the rematch? Mm, oh, it's Charlie D'Amelio's YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, is it a rematch? Uh, it is bracket B. Yeah. So this uh, uh, wrote, from from a while ago, because I still haven't made this, a new quiz. Options list solely down. I decided to make that weird grid thing instead. Uh, Addy has to go. Bye, Addy. <laughs> I'm actually Charlie. No, I'm Charlie D'Amelio. I'm the real Charlie D'Amelio. I'm also Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran. Really, I am. Check out my YouTube channel. All right, what who the, else is? Hey, who else you, is trying to join? You gave me a wrong. You you typed a wrong uh, code huh? in the like you oh, typed the no. wrong uh, type of uh, you know like you typed the wrong game code. Here's, the, here's the right game code. Oh, I I I accidentally when I was copying it, I missed the last number. Mm. That would do it. Right, anyone else uh, trying to join? Hasn't joined yet? The Flame and Pally. Okay, I'm starting. No, that, 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 that is. You should still be able to join midway through. Do, 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 do. Anybody else have any problems with their coding? Oh, any yeah, questions that I can help yeah. with? Yeah. MJ, why are you saying mm -hmm. the letter P over and over again? I don't know. <laughs> Do you need some attention? Are you missed lacking in no. attention, MJ? How's your day been? Good. I like your headband. Yeah, you. I love headbands, they're very comfy. Thank you. Anybody else need some attention? <laughs> I haven't got some yet. Oh, Who's talking to me? Oh, my friend. <laughs> oh no, I might be getting a headache. It's going to be a... Oh, Leo is in first place right now. Leo 6969 real like actual. I'm assuming that's Leo, like the real one. I'm getting a sparkle in the corner. Of my... You know when you stand up too fast? And then you get like sparkly vision? I have that in the corner of my eye. And sometimes that happens when I get a really bad headache. So I'm really hoping I don't get a really bad headache. Cross your fingers for me, guys. I don't want to go back to the hospital. 
Okay, Charlie is second place. King Coder. The first position in an air. Uh, 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 one. Aww. Neat. Anybody have any funny stories from yesterday? I didn't ask you guys how you all were well, yesterday. I didn't ask if anything exciting happened yesterday. I just played video games. <laughs> I got a couch, I got a futon so I can have people over. I feel like such an adult. I have like a guest room. COVID-19. Is it an odd or even number, Miss Brenda? Nope. Is this theater? Uh, uh, uh. What is a number if it's not odd or even? Yeah, but it's not a number. But then, is it odd or even? It's an irrational number if it's not odd or even. Because if it's what odd, does irrational it means mean? Irrational is a number that's not rational. It cannot be written as a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. Twenty-six. If you can't divide two numbers to get it. I have Which hope that I get it. I got it right. My floor number is my my room number or whatever is. I don't care. My floor number is not an irrational number. number. It's okay. an irrational number, but I'm not telling you whether it's odd or even. So that means it's 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 maybe a complex number, but not necessarily. <laughs> Just use your common sense. Do you think that my floor number is a complex number? No. Either be or even. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Who's, uh, okay, wait a second. Stop unless, saving. Don't use unless, mending and set of infinity on a boat. You need some attention. Unless you live on floor nine and three quarters. Yeah, no, I know. And that function returned only whole numbers. Random don't use mending, you were spamming. Home. So I, I decided you were, like, thirsty for some attention. I'm, I'm not about to let anybody die of thirst in my live stream. How are you doing? Having a good day? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, how, how does it feel to match those keys? Is that a fun, fun, oh, you're doing something else. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather take my time and like uh, uh, fall behind right, just to get, get your floor number right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But do you, is your floor a first digit number? I don't know what that means. Is your floor number a, a one digit number? I meant uh, I'm not going to answer that. Does this symbol do You guys keep asking, like, you guys keep guessing the same floor numbers every time. <laughs> no, I, I like, ask, well, I'm, I'm asking different. What is you the, gotta look at the whole, when I read them out, you write them down and then you can like do the elimination. Yeah, process of elimination. Surprise I, you guys have I've been only yet. eliminating my answers. I haven't been eliminating everyone else's answers. Yeah, you should so. because they're publicly visible. I know. <laughs> this is not a shape function. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man. I, I can use the times too. <laughs> Oh, We've got three okay. minutes, guys. It, most people should finish it. Uh, I wish people would stop naming themselves like sexual innuendos. Uh, we've got a person at number one. We've got exclamation point at number two. Oh, We've got okay, I don't know uh, hi at number three. Yo, real, like actual. Okay, I'm just going to have to address the elephant in the room. Wham bam, thank you ma'am is a sex what, thing. What so is 6969. Nine. Stop naming yourselves that. Maybe it's sexual. Right? I don't yeah. like it. The first person in position one is named wham bam, thank you ma'am. That means sex. Don't say that. Oh, oh, oh. 6969 is also a sex thing. Don't name yourself that. And I'm so I, I need to use it for comment. Humans will make any single word or phrase sexual. Just, I'm not even gonna, it's not worth explaining why, because there's like a gazillion different ways to say it. Just so you know, don't name yourselves that. I'm gonna be kicking people out for it in the future so I don't have to address it anymore. Oh, back around! It's a family-friendly <laughs> live stream <laughs> webinar. Anyway, Charlie's fifth. Andrew what is six. What should X be to make this shape a perfect square? G is seven. Asa <coughs> is eight. Nayla, Nyla, Layla is nine. It's, it's Nayla. Nayla. Nice to meet you, Nayla. Uh, well, anyway, you're nine. 
King Coder is wait, last. Wait, I think I'll be on. Oh, no, wait, what position is the other side? Hmm? The other side? Oh, please be done. Uh, oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. oh, Nayla's eight now. Good job, Nayla. Moving up in the world. Let's do C sharp. I coded C sharp for one morning, and that's it. I was like, I want to learn how to make I video games. I didn't even finish the. I didn't even. I didn't even do the last question. Somehow the game ended right. It, you'll automatically get the right answer, or like it'll mark you correct if, when it asks you what floor I live on. You need uh, Unity for that to make a game in C sharp. Yeah, that's what I downloaded Unity. I was doing some of the uh, trials. I was messing around with like uh, uh, Blender and 3D modeling. And I was like, I want to code in C sharp. And then it got hard. And it was like winter break. So I was just like sleeping the rest of the time. So I'm also learning C sharp. It's, I know. It's kind of easy and a little bit hard. <laughs> that's most things. <laughs> By the time when I get a new computer. Uh, I'm waiting for Andrew to finish. Hi. Hey, you don't get to decide whether something is hard for someone else. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Andrew, then I'll close this down and I'll read out the floor guesses and then it'll be the end of the end of the webinar. So that chats, what about C? Uh, I don't know. I've never used it. It's better than C. Anything's better than C. Don't use C. C is the worst. <laughs> It's it's confusing. I had to do a course in it. Did so bad. And that's not true. I, I passed it. The questions were weird though. It has to do with memory allocation, which is like sort out because in JavaScript and Python and stuff, it just assigns memory for variables on itself. But in C, you have to do it for it. You have to like set like you have to manage. You have to clean its room. You have to clean the room for C. <laughs> it's not fun. Don't like it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna uh, shut it down now. End game. We done. Um, uh, we are and here it is four o'clock. You're correct. Uh, so here are standings. Can you just? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, so yeah, don't name yourself that anymore. I will kick you out. I'm not uh, Review questions. We are not posting any outtakes. They're okay. They're, they're okay. What do I live on? Five? No. Nope. Seven? No. Nope. Fifty-seven? No. Nope. Thirty-nine? No. Nope. Twenty-six. I live on floor twenty-six. Good job, Andrew. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody else got it. So everyone thank Andrew because I live on floor twenty-six. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Have a great day. Now that you know what floor I live on, you can come throw rocks at my window. Bye. Yeah.